What's up machine freaks and welcome to today's vlog. I'm sorry yesterday's vlog ended at such a, it just didn't end right. I didn't end it accomplishing anything. Things came up and life does that to us every once in a while. You understand. So what ended up happening was I showed you guys that I needed a new fuel line, but I also wanted to rebuild and replace the gaskets inside the fuel head unit. So that's what I'm doing right now. I came down south to go on vacation. Well, a little bit. I like to work, but I don't like to be stressed out. And the Duramax is definitely stressing me out right now. This is a little bit of a different sight. I uh, had a part put aside last night um, by Glenn. It's an O-ring set for 2005. Chevy 2500. If it was Glenn, it wasn't this store. Glenn don't work at this store. I got my parts. I hope. I hope this will do it for me. I want my truck up and going. As you can see, I'm not rocking the Duramax right now. I don't like driving other people's vehicles. I'm not much for the responsibility, but when I need to use other people's vehicles, I'll go ahead and do so. How many people are on the same page? You, you would rather drive your own stuff or ride your own stuff before somebody else's. Something happens and then you're at fault and no good. Welcome to my new shop. Just for my vacation time. It's supposed to rain today so I want to get this done. So let's get this thing torn apart, rebuilt, reinstalled. And uh, here's my old hose, and I also bought a new hose with some new clamps. Unfortunately, it's not pre-bent for me, but uh, it should work as long as that diameter is the same. head unit all set I think I got all the seals in I believe she's ready to rock and roll next thing I want to do is take my old hose and my new hose and just kind of figure out exactly the size of it so I can cut it in here get it all set in here and then throw it on outside so that should be all set I cut it a little long because I did trim a little bit off of this the last time I messed with this, the first like two days I had the truck, but this hose was going bad to begin with. So it's lasting me a year, so that's, that's good. It's got this Chinese finger trap on it. It tightens up when you pull against it. That's exactly how a Chinese finger trap works. So now I can't get my finger out. I can't get my finger out. Come on. There we go. Slap that guard on the new one. Put our new clamps on. Throw it on the Duramax, make me a happy, happy camper. Let's do it. I find that I'm a lot more patient when I'm talking to you guys than when I'm not talking to you guys. So you guys bring out the best in me, which is really good. Which is really, really good. I think I got it. I bought the kit, you guys saw me buy the kit. Well, it came with three O-rings, and one of the O-rings was really big, and I didn't think it would work, but I installed it anyways. And after I installed it, it just wasn't priming. It wasn't doing its thing like I'm doing right now. This this primer thing, can you get this, see this? This thing is supposed to prime fuel, and it wasn't. There's our fuel. That's what we want. So now I just have to bleed this. That's not good. I thought we were done. Why would it do that? Oh, frickin' A. I broke the plastic thing. I did break the prime. It didn't feel like it was tightening. It just went in there way too easy. They make them out of plastic so that this happens. That came out of the same kit that didn't have the right size O-ring, so. All right, I got the old one out. Now I'm gonna put the new one in with a flat head. And the, the second that I feel any kind of resistance, I'm stopping. This should be the winner. 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm hoping. <laughs> Maybe a sensor is being thrown off and I gotta put this back on. Dirty. Yeah, she's a dirty bitch sometimes, <laughs> but um, you know, it's all worth it. She gets us where we got to go safely. She deserves a little, you know, fine and dine every once in a while. I shouldn't have any problems when I go ahead and change that cat filter out again. Shouldn't have any problems. I just kind of wanted to recap what I did and explain why yesterday's video ended like it did. And that's because I was having issues with the fuel head unit. Now this morning I went ahead and bought those new parts and those new O-rings to rebuild the fuel head unit, but the, the Dorman O-ring kit sucked. I would not recommend it at all. The one O-ring was way too big and two, their bleeder screw is way too weak. But luckily I did save some of the parts from the old one. And surprisingly enough, half of those parts were way better than the kit. But now the Duramax is up and going. It took me three times. You know, three is the magic number when it comes to 3D machines. But I'm lucky to say that it wasn't my error. It was just bad parts. But now it's all set. I want to just take it out for a spin. I'm not worried about that quite yet. I'm not worried about changing all the four tires. But I think I deserve some lunch. And I'm going to reward myself by driving the Duramax there. She looks good. I did a pretty good job parking. So lunch was delicious. Now it's time to go purse shopping. Kate Spade. Okay. Is this coming out of your savings account? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not my checkings account. No. Or is, my wallet. This is mine. Okay. Why would I make you pay for my checking? That's right. Strong independent women. That's right. Talk strong about. independent women, strong independent men. Okay, well let's go uh, let's go shopping. In the old D-Max. We didn't make it per shop. We plug it into the GPS and it was 55 miles away. I just got done driving over a thousand miles. No, 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 you're not the bad guy. I'm just saying I, I didn't want to drive it and I'm glad that you understand that I don't want to drive it. Now we're just gonna have to find something else fun to do. There's no problem with that at all. I'm glad I have such an understanding girlfriend. I think this is my truck part. That's it. I'm checking it out right now, and it looks like that's gonna work perfectly. And you know what, the back is silver, it isn't black. So I bought that paint for nothing yesterday. I was gonna paint this black, but the stock one's silver, so I'll leave the other one silver. It's just a little dirty, I guess. I'm just not quite sure when I'm going to install it. I was wrong. 